What's the most important thing for others to know about Katie? That she's loved. You know, that to me that is the most the most important. Why is it important for people to know that Katie's loved? Sometimes I get these really nasty comments, you know, like I should have aborted her or I should have hung myself. I've gotten some really nasty ones. So, you know, and through it all, the only thing that I've ever wanted anyone to know is this child is loved just as much as any of the rest of my kids. When somebody watches this interview and meets Katie for the first time, what do you hope they think? Did they like it? Not really every day you can see someone now. And sweet and lovable. What's something people don't understand about Katie that you wish they did? Um, that she has feelings. That she understands when someone's being rude. And just because she might not look the way some people think she should look or um, doesn't mean that she doesn't know what's going on around her. How old are you? <laughs> Ten. How old is Katie? Eight. So she's your older sister. <laughs> she gets so much silly. She's so silly. <laughs> she being silly. Does she laugh a lot? She does. She's a happy kid. And that's, you know, she's through it, through it all. She's really, you know, she's really happy. <laughs> when Katie makes noises like this, what emotion is she feeling? Hmm? When Katie makes noises like this, what emotion is she feeling? Happy. How do you know those, those are happy noises? She makes them a lot. How do you feel when you see your sister happy? Good. Does Katie enjoy making new friends? She does. I I really I really believe she does. She's an outgoing person. <sighs> hey Katie. I'm really excited to be here with you today. Excuse me. I can tell you're a wonderful person already. And I brought a bunch of your favorite toys. Because I thought we could play together. Because I would love to play with you and be your friend. And I can just tell you're a really great person. Is it important to talk directly to Katie like I am now? Mm -hmm. Why is that important? Because she knows that you're talking to her and recognizing her as a person. It's not that I think people in general are mean and hateful and cruel. It's just... I think sometimes that they don't understand that she knows what they're saying. I mean, you can do whatever you want to to me and talk as rude as you want. But my kids, I've, you know, I'm like, I'm always been of trying to protect my kids. That's been my whole, my whole goal of being a mother is, you know, I try to protect my kids. Sometimes a little too much probably, but... You know, that's, to me, that's what my mother is supposed to do. They're supposed to stand up for, for their kids. What's it like to go to the store with Katie? I'm really nervous when people are kind of looking at her and we're white. What about that makes you nervous? Like they're going to say some mean battle. What do you hope they say? I will hope they say nice things. Well, you're a great person, Katie, and I'm super happy to be here with you. How can you tell that she's recognizing that I'm talking to her directly? Was it her change in energy from yes. flappy to kind of just listening? Looking at you, yeah, and just. I'm happy to be here with you, Katie. And your wonderful family who loves you so much. For some people out there that think that you can catch what she's got just by being next to her or holding her hand or talking to her and can't. She's, she's one in a kind in my book anyways. What should people say to Katie when they meet her for the first time? Hi. That would be It's nice. that simple? It's that simple. That seems too easy. Just hi. 
Hi, Katie. What is Katie's diagnosis? Um, she was born with a diagnosis of um, megalocephaly, which is a rare brain disorder. And then she has um, been diagnosed with um, a protein <gasps> that has <sighs> mutated that has caused um, the growth inside of her face and her brain. So. <sighs> And there's no medications or anything like that at this time. She's had surgeries to downsize her face, and she's had surgery on her lip and her ear, and you know to to get it to where she could hold her head and stuff up. When was Katie first diagnosed? Uh, when I was about six months pregnant with her, they um told me that her head was oddly shaped. They didn't know what it was exactly. And that's why my heart was sitting there going, oh my God, my baby, you know, she's not gonna make it. And then he's like, well, she has megalocephaly. And we're like, we had no clue what megalocephaly was. So he told us, you know, that it just basically is a very rare brain disorder. And, you know, that I was gonna have to have a C-section and, if she made it to even being born alive and you know he's just like um you know her outcome it just it's not a good outcome sometimes we'll go out in public like to walmart's or somewhere and there's literally people that will like if the child asks a question they'll be like shh shut up don't you know she is here for a reason and i want that reason to be, you know, fulfilled however it's supposed to be. And if it's a little child being curious at the age of two, wanting to know what's wrong, who's to say that that child might not grow up and become a doctor and be able to, you know, solve some of the mysteries in the world? So you encourage questions. I do. I really do. I want people to ask me questions about her. I don't want people to um, push us aside or especially, you know, shy away from her or any of that stuff because Katie is worth knowing and she's very, very sweet. I think that she understands a lot more than people realize that she understands. I'm really happy to be here with you today. I tell her she's smart and beautiful all the time. How does she react? Most of the time she reacts in a happy little attitude. Sometimes she just kind of looks at me and gives me that look. I just, I made, if you can make a pact with God, it was kind of like, um, I lay in the bed for like two weeks after that. And I was like, when I first found out, and I was like, you know, crying and everything. And it was just like a little light bulb went off my head. It was like, what are you laying here crying about? You know, and I, you know, it's like, okay, if you give her to me, I'll do everything in my power to take care of her until you decide to take her back home. And that's what, you know, that's what I've done. I, I just, I live every day knowing that I could wake up tomorrow and she could be gone. How do you know if Katie's happy? Oh, believe me. We know if Katie said, <laughs> but she, um, she smiles a lot. She giggles. She claps her hands. What's it like for you to see her happy? I love to see her happy. When she's happy, it makes me happy. <laughs> yes. You know, Everybody has their own opinion and they're entitled to it. Just sometimes it would be nice if they wouldn't express those opinions. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it, it takes less energy to be, you know, nice to someone than it does to be mean. When she does this, she's telling you she's an angel. <laughs> Good job.
Did you like his noise, huh? We liked it. Can you do it? You're an angel, yes. I think you're an angel. Sometimes a good one, sometimes a bad one, but you're still there. So you said this means that she's saying she's an angel? Yeah, that she's sweet, that she's a sweet little angel, because that's what I tell her all the time. I'm like, you're so sweet, you're such a little angel. She's mine, and I'm going to take care of her, so their negative opinions don't matter to me, and <laughs> they really don't. They don't even hurt my feelings. I mean, it's just like, okay, that's your opinion. That's going to be for you and your conscience have to live with, not me and mine. She likes bath time, too. She likes splashing water on Mama. <laughs> does she splash you in that? In that? She does. She will literally, like, because I have to, you know, give her a bath in the tub, so I get the, the thing to rinse her hair or something, and when I'm trying to do that, she's constantly splashing water in my face while I'm leaning over the tub trying to get her hair done. So... And she's laughing. Yeah. Because it's fun. She's throwing water in my face. It's fun. She makes me feel like, you know, she's like one of God's special little flowers that he just, he created. Like, there's not very many of it. It's like a rare, a rare find. And it just, she's mine, you know. And I get to, I get to be here with her and love her and be loved by her. She likes to go shopping. <gasps> That's one of her favorite things to do. She likes to pick out her own clothes when we go shopping. Well, I like your outfit you got on now with the ice cream. Did she pick that out herself? She did. This is one that she bought right here. We got this one from um, the dollar store, matter of fact. She's just, it's amazing to be her mom. So you lean a lot on your faith during parenting of Katie? Well... I believe it like this. If if there wasn't a God, Katie wouldn't be here. Because she has so much going negative towards her. You know, people say, oh, if your faith was stronger, she'd be healed. Or he could take care of that. Or he could make her look like another child. Or, yeah. People say stuff like that? Yeah, they do. And I believe all that. I believe every bit of that. Not that my faith ain't strong enough. But I believe that he can do it. But I believe that he chooses not to do it. If I want to be friends with Katie, what should I do? Mess with my music. She loves Ooh. music. Would you like to go? You mentioned how you believe that God could heal Katie if you wanted to. Yes. So you believe that God chooses not to heal Katie. Does that cause you any animosity? No. No. Because like I said, when we're all put here for a purpose. And it's very rarely that we know what our purpose is. But when you find that purpose and that purpose is done, then to my opinion, you you know, you get to go on. You get to you move on, you know, and Do you ever have moments of weakness where you do question things? With her? No. No, honestly, not with her. Sometimes I question, okay, not her specifically, but me, like financially. Why, why would God choose me to give her to when we don't financially have the means to take care of everything that we need to take care of? So, yeah. <laughs> Did I do a little good job? <sighs> But she's just, she's just amazing. <laughs>